What is one thing that gives you the most hope about the future? Our ability to adapt to challenges. We've done it in the past as humanity. I think we can do it in the future. What is one thing you want people to walk away from this episode of the future of everything, remembering or now knowing? Uh, that we shape our infrastructure, but our infrastructure shapes us. So think about those decisions. Aside from money, what is one thing that you, Rishi, need to succeed in your research? I would say willingness of the uh, public to try new tools. I think the challenge we have is we're developing all sorts of new things. But until we actually put it into play in the real world, we don't learn and we don't know what doesn't work. If all goes well, what does the future look like? Uh, the future to me looks like a place where everybody has safe, comfortable places to live and work and their environment can adapt to who they are, not just the generic person. And finally, if you were starting over again and you needed to get your PhD in a different discipline, what would that be? I would say I would go back and get a PhD in art history or architectural history. I think there's a lot we can learn for how our ancestors did and designed and built and expressed themselves to inform what we can do in the future, especially when it comes to extreme heat. That was Rishi Jain, and that was the future in a minute. Thanks so much, Rishi. Thank you, Russ.